Welcome to New Hampshire for the running of the New England 200. On the pole for today's race is Ian Shepard, and to the outside is Jim Gambit. John Gambit is third, fourth is Derek Bouchard, and Paul Minnick is fifth. Points leader Kevin Bannon starts 22nd today, so he'll have some work to do. If I sound different, because I'm sick, so sorry about that. But, just going to keep doing these races. Pace car to pit road, here we go, 30 laps, the one mile flat oval as a car did not get going it was doomsday 51 55 as the green flag is out we're racing here at new hampshire they race their way into three and four, Ian Shepard is out front. John Gambit and Jim Gambit side by side for a second. It looks like John's going to clear Jim off of four. As we have seen New Hampshire be a wild race in the Cup Series, will it be the same here in the Target Series? I think this is the first time we've ever, we've ever had New Hampshire in the Target Series. Going hard right here off of the corner. Down the back stretch. Looks like three wide back there with Gabriel Wanderley in the middle. TJ Hanley down to the bottom lane. Minnick gets clear on the outside. He sorts that out. And Ian Shepard's still up front. See some teammates right here working together. TJ Hanley and Jay Jefferson. Nose to tail on the bottom lane. The 44 and the 10. It looks like the 44 might be able to get away from that 10. As the Gambit's still battling hard for second. Jim back to the inside. John and Jim's going to take it now off of four. Can he hold it, though, is the question. As it is really hard to make a pass here. Very flat. You need to set it up. It might take a few laps. As, ooh, Jim got a little loose there. I saw he might lose that position to John again. John gets on his back bumper. Through three and four. And Ain Shepard has just pulled away from this battle. Go back to the nearest battle. It looks like there's not really one. TJ Hanley and Jason Neal Jr. getting into a battle a little bit. And here comes Tommy Turbo in the 87. And up front, there you can see Derek Bouchard. It looks like he's going after John Gambit. Can he get it into the corner? I don't think so. That might allow Michael Gregory a spot different lines that cars run here that that could also be key to who does well in this race you saw Jim Gambit lower than Ian Shepard through three and four let's look at Michael Gregory's gonna get past Derek Richard maybe at the top of the corner looks like he oh it's gonna be close right here but Michael might have it oh caution has come out for the first time here today and it looks like Dan Bannon is involved with Gracie Savito the caution is out and Aiden Shepard led us back as tough damage for Gracie Acevedo. Dan Bannon and Matt Thiessen also involved. Bannon with the most damage, though. Let's see what happened. I think Gracie Acevedo kind of started this. Unless he was farther back. Oh, no. Oh, Bannon got hit hard right there into the wall with Matt Thiessen. Let's look at that again. As I was looking for Gracie Acevedo. I don't see him anywhere up here. That's a hard hit right there. For Dan Bannon, Matt Thiessen, Tyler Flood able to squeak by, it looks like. Ace Vito already had damage. Wondering if he got spun out earlier in the race. If he was towards the back, maybe. I'm wondering if he was at the back of the field, so they didn't... Yeah, they did not call a caution, because he was at the back. Oh, Thiessen pushed Dan Bannon up into Ace Vito, so now we know where the contact came between Bannon and Thiessen. Bannon probably... Was not too happy with Thiessen for forcing him up into Ace of Vito. Tried to force Thiessen up into the wall, and Thiessen just held his line and put them both in the wall. Tough hit for those two drivers. So Aiden Shepard led us back to the yellow, and they're all on pit road for our first pit stop to the day, just before the third way mark. See Shepard in. Let's see you get down front. Michael Gregory just took fuel only. He gets down away. Gabriel Wanderley, the same. Ryan Keys, and the rest on back. Take two. So 
Well, that's interesting. Be interesting to see how this goes. Some people are taking four, some take two, some take no tires. Michael Gregory with no tires is right now out in front in the lead. We will have our first race out of the day with 20 to go, the third way mark. As you can see, Doomsday for 155 never made it to the line, so he never started the race, and Dan Bandon is out of this race from that wreck. So it'll be Michael Gregory up front, and second will be Gabriel Wanderley. And third is Ryan Keith, fourth is Ian Shepard, and fifth is Jay Jefferson. Jason Smito Jr. is in sixth, uh, Derek Bouchard is seventh, eighth is Hacking Hater, ninth is Reed Feely, and tenth is Derek Bouchard. In eleventh is Luke Rainey, twelfth is... Tommy Turbo, 13th is Jim Gambit, 14th is Justin Heath, and 15th is Jonathan Reigns. In 16th is John Gambit, 17th is TJ Hanley, 18th is Paul Minnick, 19th is Levi Shones, and 20th is Jake West. That's your top 20s. We get set to go back green. That's half of the field. You're fast enough the race. So far, belongs to John Gambit with a 26.483, but not far behind. Was your leader before this caution? Aiden Shepard with a 26.488. Here we go, Pace Car and Pair of Michael Gregory is your new race leader. Second guy to lead today as the green flag is back out. And Gregory stepped on the gas to get away from Gabriel Wanderley. And Aiden Shepard did not get such a great restart there. Remember, he was your leader before this caution came out. Now he's stuck back, so it'll be interesting to see how he does. As Gregory went up the track, Wanderley did try and take advantage of that. And can Aiden Shepard find his way back up towards the front? Wanderley way up the track. Jay Jefferson's coming for fourth underneath Shepard. And it looks like Jay Jefferson through one and two might get it right here. He might get to fourth. Remember, he won at a, another flat track here this season. He won at Phoenix. Pretty flat track. One mile long. And it looks like Aiden Shepard able to clear. As Gabriel Wanderley trying to run down Michael Gregory. Right now, can't do it. Yeah, once you get that clean air, man, it is huge. And that might be why Gregory did not take any tires. He wanted that clean air. It's just really hard to make a pass. So they come off a fourth. Front four kind of pulled away from the rest of the field. And then Jefferson and Derek Bouchard right now in the battle. Just a little bit. Bouchard trying to get to the inside Jefferson as they work their way through one and two. Bouchard is there. Does he have a run into three and four to clear him? He drives in hard. Can he come up in front of Jefferson? He does. That's your new fifth place car right there. And Tamino Jr. is now in the back bumper of Jefferson. So that 10 car starting to fade just a little bit. Halfway next time by. Ooh. Smeo Jr. bobbed a little bit. And Reese Dooley gets to the bottom lane. They are side by side. Door handle, door handle as they come down the back. So it looks like Smeo. Ooh. Look at Reese Dooley. He tried to drive it in there to keep it underneath. Ooh. Don't come up into him though. Ooh. That's close right there. That's good stuff. So halfway that time, your race leader is Michael Gregory. He took it from Ian Shepard under the caution. As Reese Dooley is going to grab that spot from Smito Jr. right there. So the 62 making his move up towards the front. Here comes Ian Shepard back. He's going for third. He had to let up, though. And Derek Bouchard has a little bit of a run. Oh, he almost... Whoa, he almost got into him. That is close there as they are still side by side as they come off of two. Derek Bouchard might take over fourth here. Yes, Bouchard to fourth. So that 22 is fast. You know who's really fast? That 20 car. He's out front by a mile. It was a second last time by. And it's grown to 1.3 seconds. So clean air. Big here, but Derek Bouchard is... Going for third, so that 22 has come to life here. I don't think he has enough time, though. He's going to need a caution. Or unless pit stops happen. Man, that 20 car is just strong. The clean air here is just so big. 
And we're gonna look at the times from Gabriel Wander to Derek Richard. Oh, was there a spin on off of four? Yes, there was. It's a big one. John West, TJ Hanley involved. Looks like Matt Peasen able to drive through. The caution will come out, and this is not what Michael Gregory wanted to see. Last time by, he was three tenths faster than that four car, but the 22 is also three tenths faster. These guys are stopped. He has to be careful. You don't want to run into them. That could just. And Gabriel Warner he did just that with with uh, Derek Bouchard. Ran into the back of the hand Caldwell, and that's going to ruin those two guys' race. They're smoking down there. Looks like these guys get stopped in time. Dodd hit Eli a little bit, but nothing major there. All right, let's see what happened. It looked like Jake Moss might have been the first one to go around. So Larry Bouchard Jr. went up the track here. Top of three wide. Cynthia Bright's pushing Jake West up because they need room. And just comes up into Larry Bouchard Jr. Nothing those guys could do there. They spun. Jake Moss also got spun. And right there, looks like John West going to get most of his damage right there. TJ Hanley gets booed by Hayne Codwell into Robert Hernandez. That car went up in the air. Sandrovich had nowhere to go. Jeff Wright had to stop. Sub and Oath, Irvine there, get damaged. Gracie Sweeto flew in there. So that was the wreck. Let's go on board with a few drivers. Joe Sandrovich is back here. Not having the best of days, and he was looked like able to miss it. Got some damage there, but overall, all right for that two car. Jeff Wright able to scoop on the outside. He was he's not running too good today. And now we're going to have one more fight for clean air as second and third just got taken out after they ran back to the yellow flag battling for every position. They ran right into Hayne Codwell. I think Derek Bouchard was going to avoid, but Gabriel Wanderley just got both of them there. So Gregory, will he pit? Will he stay out? He's on pit road, but everyone's staying out. Oh boy. Hayne Shepard's back up front. Where he was at the beginning, Michael Gregory comes down pit road, he surrenders the race lead, and he will not finish in the top 20 today, it looks like. Aiden Shepard will be your race leader. Restart with only 7 laps to go, 7 miles, and as you can see, Gabriel Wanderley is out along with Hayden Codwell and Derek Bouchard, leaves 37 cars left in this race. Michael Gregory went down pit road with Jay Jefferson and others, they will be 26th on back, so tough break for them. Aiden Shepard will be a race leader trying to hold on a win over Reese Dilley in second. Third will be Tommy Turbo. Fourth is Jason Smilo Jr. And fifth is Hackenhaver. Jim Gambit sixth. Seventh is Levi Shones. Eighth is Luke Rainey. Ninth is Jonathan Raines. And tenth is John Gambit. So here we go. Will these guys have to pit though? Maybe those guys pitted knowing that these guys won't be able to make it on fuel. Maybe they didn't feel like they saved enough. And if these guys pit, <laughs> only a few cars came down pit road. Some with damage repairs so maybe that that wreck actually helped them out here we go pace car to pit road maybe the final restart of the day unless we get a quick caution here we go green flag back in the air and it's aiden shepherd out front he led the first few laps of this race can he hold on down the back stretch they come shepherd has a Pretty nice gap over Reese Dooley Center 3 and 4. Wondering if anyone comes down pit road here. Look at that. Oh, look out! Paul Minnick went down into the wall. Does he come back up? He does. He hits. Unbelievable. That's a huge wreck right there. And that will bring out the quick yellow that we were talking about. And these guys will race back. It will be five to go, so we will get a restart here at New Hampshire. We saw it looked like Justin Ethan and Paul Minnick went down to the inside while Minnick came back up into the field and wrecked them. Aiden Shepard led them back. These guys getting it sorted out. And it looks like Aiden Shepard will not hit any of them. So let's see what happened to Paul Minnick and others. Saw this racing hard off the corner. Justin Ethan and Paul Minnick. See, they get together and Minnick's going to get the worst of this. He goes down, hits the wall, he comes back up, nowhere to go. Hits Larry Bouchard Jr. right there. Eli Bright 
able to avoid it somehow. Chris Dodd getting it, some damage there. Eric Hayden looked like he missed it. Oh my gosh, that was a close miss there. Cars flying in there. They're able to miss it. Looks like they're able to miss it. Unbelievable driving by these guys to miss that. That was a huge, huge wreck. Aiden Shepard let them back. They're going to stay out, and it's going to be about uh, two to go. We only have one lap to decide who will win here at New Hampshire. One mile. Aiden Shepard is your race leader. No cars have retired, and there are only 34 on the lead lap. You see your race leader is Aiden Shepard. Reese Dilley is second, and third is Tommy Turbo. Fourth is Jason Smito Jr. Fifth is Jim Gambit. Levi Shones is in sixth. Seventh is Hacking Hater. Eighth is Jonathan Rain. And ninth is John Gambit. And tenth is Luke Rain. And eleventh is Justin Heath. Twelfth is Cynthia Bright. Thirteenth is Larry Bouchard Jr. Fourteenth is Eli Bright. 15th is Chris Dodd, Bill Duguay is in 16th, Eric High in 17th, Kevin Banning, your points leader in 18th, 19th, Con McGovern in 20th is Benother Irvine. Now I'm back to see some more cars, cars that were involved in wrecks, cars that just are not having the best of days. So can Aiden Shepard hold on and win for one more lap? We're about to find out the pace car, make the left hand turn onto pit road off of four. One lap to go for Aiden Shepard, can Reese Dilley close and pass. Here we go. Green flag back out. Aiden Shepard thought he would get a better restart than that, but Reese Dilley's kind of close there going into one. If he gets a better corner, watch out because Reese Dilley could do anything to win right there in three and four. He could drive it in hard. Off of two, I don't think Dooley's close enough. Oh, look out for the cars. Oh, oh no. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if that caused a wreck, but off of turn number four, Aiden Shepard is going to win the New England 200 at New Hampshire. Barely, though, over the 6-2. Oh, my gosh. I thought Ryan Keith was going to cause a wreck there, but he did. I really thought he was going to wreck the leaders with the way he was coming up. Let's see it. A wreck was caused, but I don't think it was because of these guys. They're coming out of pit road very, very slow. I think Grace Ace Vito might have run out of fuel, or they both might have. Look at this. I think Ace Vito did, because the 15th started going. Look at that. Look at Eric Hayden, all the way to the bottom lane. Cars were running out of fuel here. And then they wrecked up ahead, probably trying to get into pit road. Larry Bouchard Ju Jr. again. He just got wrecked by Justin Heath. What the heck? happened here? Heath might have run out of fuel. Did he not? What happened? They're, oh, but he was trying to avoid and he probably did not. See, he and Cynthia did not get the corner they wanted. Heath all the way up against the wall and Bouchard, he just turned Bouchard up into the wall. Comes down into Chris Dodd. They're all spinning and everything. Kevin Bandits is going to gain a ton of positions from this. Cars were coming down pit road. They might have run out of fuel or something. My oh my, what an unfortunate last lap for a ton of people. My goodness. That was wild. All right, let's check the finishing results from the New England 200. Aiden Shepard able to win it. Here are the finishing results from the New England 200 at New Hampshire. Four caution flags for 12 laps. Only two leaders. And as you can see, Aiden Shepard led the most lap to 18. He started on pulling up winning the race. Reese Dooley came close. If there's one more lap, he might have had it. He ended up second time. He turbo third. Jim Gambit fourth. Fifth was Levi Shones. In sixth was Jonathan Rain. Seventh was John Gambit. Eighth was Kevin Bannon. He's still your points leader. Gary May, ninth. And tenth was Tyler Flood. So there's your top 20. Man, what a wild last lap there with the cars out of fuel, the cars slow, <laughs> the wreck. Everyone come down pit road, and a lot of people were retiring from the race. See down here, Michael Gregory led 12 laps. He was involved in a wreck. Finished 37th. All right, now let's go to the point standings. Here are the point standings after 18 races. It's Kevin Bannon, your points leader. And second is Jim Gambit. Third is now uh, <coughs> Reese Dooley. Gary May, fourth, and Jeff Bright, fifth. In sixth is Jonathan Rain. Seventh is uh, Justin Heath. Eighth is Jay Jefferson. Ninth is Gabriel Arnaby. And running at the top 10 is Matt Beeson. So there's your top 20 in the points.
C, your points that only has two top fives, but seven top tens is what put him on top there. And the consistency that he has. Scroll down 21st to 40th. Some guys down here just not having the seasons they wanted. Some guys down here without even top fives. Just disappointing for them. But everyone has a top 10. Alright, so the next race, we have the KFC 300 at Kentucky. See you guys then.